You know, when I got into this shit, right? Um, before I started fucking spitting, right? I got fucking wise, right? But, you know what the unique thing is with me, right? Is that them videos are up and you can go and look at them, right? Why did I leave them up? Because I just left them up. I just like this cap, right? This isn't because I'm part of a Luciferian satanic agenda. This is because I'm sharp as fuck. I don't fuck about, right? I don't know, I can't be asked. <coughs> I'm not asked, but you can get dressed for a pittance if you've got a good eye anyway. I mean, yeah, you fucking can. But, like, because of my job. Right, like sort of like you understand what I mean, don't you? So I've I've can't dress like a total fucking scruffy cunt because if you want some scruffy cunts cut the hair. So that's my excuse, and that's the truth. Oh, no, it's not the truth, it's a lie. No, it's the fucking truth. What I mean? Mm. I'm not tied down with the material fucking shit, like, you know what I mean? It's just a necessity to me. You know what I mean? Um. Yeah, I'm probably sharper than most of you, like, that watch me, you know what I mean? Why don't you get sharp? Huh? Yeah, I get fucking sharp. Why not? Because the Illuminati are trying to fucking depopulate us. Yeah, well, they're doing it the right way around, aren't they? They're doing it with lags and stand. Yeah. Tip them over. It's better than a gas chamber, if you believe in them. Do I believe in gas chambers? Well, they don't look fucking good. They just don't look good. Um, this is why like, I've got a lot of respect for Jungle Surfer, by the way. Because you go on Jungle Surfer's channel and watch the stuff that he dug out on... Uh, the Nuremberg Trials, like. They had fucking bodies in caskets and they were throwing them around like they were cardboard. You know what I mean? And Gurin was in one of them. He was a big fat cunt even though he'd lost a load of weight. You know what I mean? Like, and got his mind back because he wasn't on the opiates. But, you know, he was a madman. Because yeah, they were all madmen. But if you look, you can see Rome in action. Not the Zionist Jews. Rome in action. There you fucking can. And another thing you can fucking ascertain is um, that without the Jews, right, there would be no Christianity. Wouldn't exist. And even to this day, them like sort of like hardcore religious sort of like Jews right do keep the Bible alive yeah what the King James version yeah well yeah fucking right yeah keep it all alive no they dragged it through no the believers in God right alright then what they will not say is that Jesus Christ is the Lord and Saviour and the rah 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 it doesn't matter. Um, if Jesus was sat in this room with me now, he would 
clarify what I'm saying, I'm afraid. Right, it's a blag. It's not your denomination. It's not even your belief or your doubt. It's the fact that you want to work to create a better world where people can be united, if you like. I will use, you know, these words. Um, and this is what happens, you see, you get united in... It's like, I've not heard from him for time, so I've put a video up, like, denouncing chemtrails. Archaic symbolism. Yes, archaic symbolism. Ew, I'm not, I don't think you're going to deny it, are you? You're a complete fucking mason, aren't you? And you're actually verging on a bit of a satanic person, aren't you? If you know what I mean. With no disrespect. Because I don't respect Satanism and I don't res disrespect Satanists. These people that they're portraying on the airwaves, like, um, they're not fucking Satanists. Oh, they fuck. They fucking narcissists. You've got to get your head together. Right? Satanism, right, is a fruit in the garden. Right? Satanism is the fruit that God said, you shall not touch. You see, see how fucking informational I am, and I'm fucking retarded. Uh, you could be. Do you get what I mean? Am I after sort of like being massive on YouTube and making money off it? You no, know, it has crossed my mind back in the day, like. But you know what? I'm quite happy. Being little and not fucking getting bothered. Because the bigger you get, the more nutters you're going to get. You see what I mean? No, and I, as I say, I'm speaking to the few. But yeah, sort of like Satanism is a true doc It's a true doctrine, you see. Um, and it, it does work. But the Satanism that uh, we're looking at, are narcissists, you see. Satanism isn't... It, the, the rules of Satanism are not too bad, if you know what I mean. You know what I mean? They're, they're pretty similar. They're biblical, really. Um, yeah, they are the path to wandering away. Yeah, they are. Oh, yeah, fucking right there. Because they're like saying, like, you know, that you're a man or a woman. Or you, you, you're gender neutral. See, if Satan wants to flip everything on its head, why would he be calling for gender neutral? Because that's flipping nothing. That's maintaining the, um, the balance. Go back on my channel. You mergs. Call you mergs, it means mugs, but you mergs. Um, so, the the crazy <laughs> satanic organisation that is obviously spouted, right? Well, they're just all little dickheads, to be quite honest, right? And a real Satanist, as I've said in a video before, you could knock on the Christian's door needing desperate help. And they could slam it in your face, and you could knock on the next door, and it could be a, a, a couple that are Satanists, and they might help you. And in that, and in there is the the logic of Crossman. Do you get what I mean? It's not your belief system or what you're trying to get into or what you're trying to adhere to, right? It's actually how you treat other people and how you. You know, and, and how you want to be treated, basically. See? You know, and this is why the fruit you wasn't men a week was the information that man can be as God. Right? You know, it's like the fall from... Um, you know, because Adam and Eve were not actually 
farmed, if you know what I mean. We weren't human beings like you and me. Huh? We had to fall into this heavy, sort of like, density reality. You, see? you know, and that's why we're here, and that's why I'm here. And like, as I say, I'm an atheistic Christian, and I still want answers on a postcard, but what I'm trying to say when I'm saying that is, that I'm trying to keep it real, but I'm not trying to kill God, right? Because I believe that God is working through each and every one of us. So where is the kingdom of heaven? It is all around, but if you can see. Do one.